Hey, hey, Energizer, welcome to this episode of the Jones and Four Show. And I am so thankful to have you here joining me today for this episode. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Remember, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are enough just the way you are. So remember that. And if you could do me a huge favor, hit subscribe, hit follow, whatever it is for you on whatever platform you're listening or watching this on, I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much for your love and support and for being here. Now, today's episode, it is a solo show. That's right. It's just you and me. You and me, we are here. We're having a conversation. Well, I'm chatting with you at least. And, uh, you know, you can talk back to me. That's all right. Go for it. I welcome it. But uh, hopefully, uh, if you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Seriously, reach out. Send me a message on Instagram and Facebook at Jones and Four, or you know, send me an email at Spencer at SpencerMJones.com. I would love, love, love to hear from you. So today's episode, we are talking about how to be in this moment, in this exact moment. It might seem kind of strange, kind of different, like, okay, Spencer, well, we're in this moment all the time, right? And it's always changing. What's so big about being right here? Well, here's the thing. If you feel stressed, if you feel anxious, worried, anything like that, well, that's because you're living in the future, the future moments, right? You're thinking about what's coming up ahead of you. And so you get stressed out, you get worried because you're trying to control it or you're trying to will it to your desires, the things you want. But let's face it, the truth is you can't do that. You can't really truly will it to the things you want. I, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you can't. You can only control what you can control. So take hold of the controllables, take hold of the things that you can change, the things you can do, and start with that and focus on those. Because if you focus on the things you can control, well, then that can change some of the outcomes of the things in the future. Even so, if you work on your controllables, that doesn't mean it's going to change everything in the future. And that doesn't mean it's going to make everything in the future happen your way, right? So this is when you have to be flexible. You have to go with the flow. You have to be understanding, be like, okay, that didn't happen, but that's okay. I'm going to learn, I'm going to grow, I'm going to improve, we're going to make it through. Maybe you're stuck in the past, all right? You're feeling regret, feeling guilt, feeling shame over things from the past, right? Or you're looking at, oh, those are good old times, and you're living back there. Well, that doesn't do you any good. That's, that's in the past. That's already happened. You look in the back, uh, in the mirror, in your, your rear view mirror, right, to look back for a couple things, and a couple things only. One of them is to look at them and see, how can I learn, grow, and improve from these situations? The other thing is to look back and say, how far did I come? How far did I grow? How much did I grow? How, you know, how much, how far did I come? Not comparing myself to someone else except my previous self. And you go, wow, look how far I've come. Again, looking back at those as opportunities to learn, grow, and improve. Always trying to be your best. So that's the past, right? That regret, the worry, the depression, the future, anxiety, worry, stressing out, right? Those are there. And we can jump into those anytime we want, but those aren't positive. Those are negative feelings, right? That's very low energy. We don't want those. If you want to be happy, if you want to live your life to the max, well, you want to be in the present moment, in this moment, right here, right now. I will say this, like you say, Spencer, but you talk about goal setting and, you know, looking ahead. Yes, you should. And you should look ahead at times. You should set those goals, right? Just like you should look in the past to learn to grow and improve. Look in the future to be like, oh, I would love to have this. I dream of this. And I'm setting these goals and I'm setting these benchmarks and tasks. I'm doing all that. Awesome. But once you do that, come back to the present moment. Don't live in the future. Don't live in the past. Live in this present moment because you know, as corny as it sounds, it is a present. It's a present for you that you get to be here to experience this moment right here, right now. And what is truly amazing and what is a miracle, and you know, the cat mailing there is a miracle, right? That he's alive. It's a miracle that you are alive right now, right here, right now, that you are alive. 
right? Think about it. Think of the cells that had to have come together at the right time and fire at all the same moments. And the fact you're here, you're breathing, you're alive. It is a miracle. It's a miracle that we have internet and that we can share these podcasts, these videos, these thoughts all around the world. It's a miracle. So why not take that miracle and embrace it and celebrate it in this moment? So that's what we want to do. We want to take this time to celebrate. Yes, look ahead at the future to plan, to dream, and build that out. And then look in the past to learn, to grow, and to prove so you don't make those same mistakes, right? And you can always be better, become wiser, but then celebrate and be in this moment. There are thousands, probably millions of ways that you can be in this moment right here, right now. Probably millions, maybe more, right? You have to find the ones that work for you. Now, I'm going to share a couple of ways and strategies that work for me to help bring me from feeling stressed, feeling worried in the future or dealing with that past stuff and bring me to boom, right here, right now, this present moment. So a couple of those things that I do for me is to breathe. The first one is to breathe, right? When the cat mouse in the middle of this recording like he's doing right now, I breathe. Should I stop this? Yeah, maybe. If he keeps going, I might have to, right? Because I don't want it to annoy you. But I stop and breathe that stress and I let it go. I focus on the present moment of my breath. And that helps me focus in on this moment. And then it has extra benefits of breath for cats, right? Lowering your heart rate, lowering your blood pressure, helping you think clearer because your mind's not racing. It's in this moment. So I breathe. Another strategy I love to do is to go for a walk. And I do multiple things on the walk. And you could do this on a walk or you can do any of these at any time. So when I go for a walk, and it could just be around the house, it could be around the yard, it could be on the street, on the sidewalk, through a park, whatever it is. I first start by breathing, focusing on my breath. And then I look around me and I see the beautiful things around me, the trees, the signs, the, the animals, whatever it is. I look for beautiful things. And that beautiful thing could be anything. I look for something beautiful, right? I keep an eye out. And then I listen. I listen for whatever it is, whatever I hear. Do I hear the cat mowing? Do I hear an eagle scream? Do I hear crickets? Do I hear people talking? Water running, dogs barking, whatever it is. What do I hear? So when I go out, I look. And then I listen. I'm just in the present moment. I'm not judging anyone or anything. I'm not trying to get attached to anything or anyone or any emotion or thought. I'm just being aware. That's all, just being aware and recognizing, oh, I hear this. Oh, I hear that. That's really cool. Oh, I see this. Oh, that's beautiful. That's all. Just those things. And then I become aware of how my body's moving, especially if I'm walking, right? How does it, what does it feel like? And how does it feel as my foot presses against my shoe, which goes into the ground? How does that feel? How does the air across my face feel? What does it smell like, taste like? What are the sensations I have from walking, from being here? Hey, are you ready to crush it, to go after your dreams and goals and live your life to the max? Well, of course you are. That's why you're here listening or watching to the Jones and Four show. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. But sometimes we still get stuck, right? These podcasts, this show is great, but that's not everything sometimes. Sometimes we need a little more. And you know what? I get that. What helps me and what has helped me and continues is a community. And surrounding myself with people who are amazing, who are like-minded, like me, going after goals, achieving big things, and pushing themselves and others to be their best. Wouldn't it feel amazing to be surrounded by a community like that? To be surrounded by people who are like you, who have big goals and dreams, and they're going for them. Not only are they going for their goals, they're helping and encouraging you to go after yours. Well, if that sounds interesting, if that sounds fun, if that sounds like a community you would love to be part of, well then come check out Spencer's Energy Hub. That's right, I have our membership community, well, I should say we have a membership community that's here for you. I say we because we are the energizers, just like you. 
We energize each other to be our best. We have monthly uh, rock star interviews, right? Where we interview masters in their field. We have weekly trainings. We meditate every week as a community. And you can hop and join us. You get special access to me along with an incredible community of people. So if you are ready to level up, if you are ready to be a rock star and crush your goals while being surrounded by an incredible and amazing community, check out Spencer's Energy Hub. All you have to do is go to spencersenergyhub.com and check it out. Or if you want, just head over to my website, www.spencermjones.com and check out the hub. We would love to have you inside. All right, back to your show. I open my awareness to this present moment. Now I asked this question on one of my lives, uh, my meditation lives on Insight Timer, because we were talking about how to be in this moment. And so I threw it out there. How, uh, what are ways that you all uh, come in and celebrate this moment? And some of them said some of the same things, listening, looking for beautiful things. Some people said, go for a walk. Some said, just listening to music. Cool, right? Watching movies. Cool, right? Um, trying to remember here, doing their gratitudes. That was a big one that kept coming up, right? Find what works for you. What helps you be at your best all the time? What is one, two, or three ways that you can come up with more? What are multiple ways that you can be in this present moment right here to celebrate it, to savor it? You know, I'll share two of my other ways. And that's when I eat and when I drink. When I eat, I focus on the food. I know I'll be perfectly honest. I don't do this all the time, right? But at times I want to be present. I want to be in that moment. When I eat, I savor the food. I enjoy each bite, the taste of it. I give thanks and grace and gratitude for the ability to have that food and the ability to eat it. When I drink, even, you know, my cup of coffee, oh, so heavenly. But even when I drink water, right? I just drink water. I hold it in my mouth for a little bit. I might swish it around and I enjoy the taste of it. The fact that I have the water, that I have the coffee, the tea or whatever it is, that I can embrace it, savor it and, and enjoy it. It's a huge blessing, huge, huge, huge blessing for us. When you start focusing on being in this present moment, on the moment right here, right now, your world changes. It shifts from being worried, anxious, stressed out, or dealing with shame, guilt, right? And anger from things in the past to being filled with love. Because in the present moment, that's where love lives. That's where happiness lives. It's in the here and now. Savor it. Be aware of it. So then you could savor it. Enjoy it. And be at your best. So there you go. A short, sweet Jones and Four Show episode. I truly appreciate you. I know this is short, but I want you to take some time. Right? Usually these episodes, you know, if it's a solo show, maybe 20 minutes, if it's an interview anywhere up to an hour. I encourage you, I invite you to take the next five minutes. I know it's a long time, but I invite you to take the next five minutes that you would could be listening to this episode to turn to not listen to it. And then just listen and look. Listen for the sounds around you. Look for the beautiful things. Be in this moment. I challenge you. And then after that, message me on social media, on Instagram or Facebook, at Jones and Four. Send me a message. Let me know what you saw, what you heard. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Go after it. Be in the present moment. You will be happier and filled with more love when you do. All right. I appreciate you. Have an incredible day. And I will see you and catch you in the next episode. Thank you.